What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've been away for so long. I had a couple of things happen over the past couple weeks. Um, not good. But today I'm going to show you how to diagnose engine noises. Kind of a follow-up video to my normal versus bad engine noise. And uh, I have my 2019 Ranger here with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost. And what I'm gonna do is there's this handy little dandy tool You can get them, it's like four bucks, Harbor Freight. And this handy little dandy tool is a stethoscope, a mechanic stethoscope. Put it in your ears, touch the noise, you can listen to it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start the truck and then I'm going to kind of hold this to the microphone and then listen to different things. Uh, we'll, we'll do, I don't want you to do this, you know, down on things like the fan that are moving and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna do is the coils, probably do uh, the fuel pump, uh, the timing cover, you can actually hear airflow through here, uh, the fuel rail, you can hear. Um, and then, if I can hold the camera right, I'll do the idler pulley. I know my alternator is chirping down here just a little bit every now and then. Um, I gotta take it in for warranty because it's not supposed to chirp, but if it does it, I'll let you hear it. I'm gonna go ahead and start the truck. I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. Hear that chirp? Yeah. 
and that's how you diagnose noise. So if you hear a noise coming from somewhere, you get one of these, they're like four bucks at Harbor Freight. You can also use a screwdriver and put your thumb on the end of it, but you don't have very much distance and it's kind of dangerous with like moving parts and stuff like that. Uh, you can also use like a two or three foot like wooden handle and put your thumb on the end and listen for it. But sometimes wood handles are kind of big, but that's specifically designed specifically designed to touch the moving parts you know you, you, you put it on the bolt or something like that to hold it in to hold it and you can listen to the noise but hopefully you heard that chirp from my alternator it's not supposed to do that um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it in for warranty and if it's gonna take too long to do it like you know most places are like oh it's gonna be you know three four five weeks before we can get to you and I'll just be like yo give me an alternator and I'll do it myself but um, so that's how you diagnose it and all those noises were normal especially the fuel pump because it's cam driven they're all normal except for that little trip on the alternator it's not supposed to do that but that is how you actually diagnose customer comes in or a, a noise on your vehicle sounds like a grinding noise in the front when the belt's on or you know something like that you get that put it in your ears and touch what you think it is doing it is causing the noise and then you'll hear it. it it magnifies it like a doctor uses it on you to listen to your breathing you're listening to the engine parts so i hope that was helpful for you go ahead and give me a like comment share subscribe and i'll see you on the next one